Hello friends, in today's video, we shall discuss the mathematical derivation of the properties of expenditure function. We have already seen in the earlier video about the expenditure function and its properties. Expenditure function gives the minimum budget or expenses necessary to obtain a given utility level. With the Hicksian demand functions for good X and Y given and substituting these terms onto the budget constraint, we got the expenditure function as M is equal to 2 U raised to 0.5 multiplied by Px raised to 0.5 multiplied by Py raised to 0.5. We also saw in the earlier video that the properties of expenditure functions were that it is a homogeneous function of degree 1 in prices, expenditure functions are non-decreasing in prices, it is concave in prices and finally the shepherd's lemma. So now let's see the mathematical derivations of each of these properties. So the first property is expenditure function is a homogeneous function of degree 1 in prices. This property implies that if the prices are doubled, it will also double the required expenditure to meet the desired utility level. So we know the expenditure function is m is equal to 2u raised to 0.5, px raised to 0.5, py raised to 0.5. Now multiplying this expenditure function with a constant alpha and then factoring out the constant, we get m is equal to 2u raised to 0.5, alpha px the whole raised to 0.5, alpha py the whole raised to 0.5. Now opening the brackets, we get m is equal to 2u raised to 0.5, alpha raised to 0.5, px raised to 0.5 multiplied by alpha raised to 0.5, py raised to 0.5. Alpha raised to 0.5 multiplied by alpha raised to 0.5 is alpha raised to the power 1. So we can rewrite the equation as such. Now rearranging this equation, we get m is equal to alpha 2u raised to 0.5 multiplied by px raised to 0.5 multiplied by py raised to 0.5. Now this term is nothing but m. So we get m is equal to alpha multiplied by m. So this shows that if the price prices are doubled by alpha then the required expenditure to meet the desired utility level will also double by alpha. The second property is that expenditure function is non-decreasing in prices. It means that increase in price will increase the minimum expenditure and vice versa. So here we have the expenditure function. Now differentiating the expenditure function with respect to px and py we get the equation as del m by del px is equal to u raised to 0.5 multiplied by px raised to minus 0.5 multiplied by py raised to 0.5 and del m by del py is equal to u raised to 0.5 multiplied by px raised to 0.5 multiplied by py raised to minus 0.5. So here we can see that since the partial derivative is positive, it implies that the expenditure function is non-decreasing with respect to prices. It means that when px or py increases, m that is the minimum expenditure either increases or stays the same which shows that the expenditure expenditure function is non-decreasing in prices. The third property is that expenditure function is concave in prices. So when we say that the expenditure function is concave in prices, it simply means that as the price of a product goes up, the extra amount of money that you have to spend increases at a decreasing rate. Say for example, in everyday terms, imagine you are buying coffee beans. Now if the price of coffee beans starts to increase, maybe you buy a cheaper brand or you use them more sparingly or perhaps you switch to tea. Now as the price of coffee beans keep on increasing, you find more and more ways to adapt. So, the total extra money you spend starts slowing down compared to how the price is increasing. That's the intuition behind a concave expenditure function in price. So, in order to prove whether expenditure function is concave in prices, we, we find the second order partial derivative of the expenditure function with respect to Px and Py. So, we get del square m by del Px square is equal to minus 0.5 u raised to 0.5 5, px raised to minus 1.5 py raised to 0.5 and del square m by del py square is equal to negative 0.5 u raised to 0.5 px raised to 0.5 py raised to minus 1.5. So here the second order partial derivatives are negative with respect to px and py which shows that the expenditure function is concave in prices. That is as the price of a product goes up the extra amount of money that you have to spend increases at a decreasing rate so that the utility remains the same. 
and the last property is Shepard's lemma. It is basically a formula used to obtain the Hicksian demand function for either of the goods directly from the expenditure function by forming the following ratio of partial derivatives. That is, say compensated demand for good X is equal to del E by del Px, which is nothing but we have to find out the partial derivative of the expenditure function with respect to the price of the good. So, differentiating the expenditure function with respect to Px, we finally get the term as root of U multiplied by Py by Px which is nothing but the Hicksian demand for good X. Similarly, if we differentiate the expenditure function with respect to Py that is the price of good Y then we will get the Hicksian demand for good Y. If you like the video, do subscribe to my channel and share the videos to maximum. Thank you.